Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Uzair and I am the main DOK tutor at Elite Prep Hong Kong. So today we're going to look at this title, Do Ever Improving Tools Always Result in Improved Knowledge? And I think a lot of you are going to attempt this essay title and which means if you're aiming for a top mark, you probably need to do something exceptional and you need to be more nuanced and uh, you can definitely not say the same things that everyone else is saying. So let's get started. Let's look at the title and okay. So the key terms involved are the, rela the, the relationship between the improvement in tools and the quality of knowledge that is produced as a result of that improvement. And one of the key terms is also, does it always lead to the improvement in knowledge? And most likely a lot of you would disagree and tools do help us to a certain extent in different areas of knowledge, but it's not, it's not definite that they always lead to better knowledge. And so we are going to look at the different extent to which this statement applies. And so first of all, let's look at what does improvement in tools, what does it mean? Can, they can be more um, sophisticated, the tools can be, like improved tools can be more accurate, they could have um, more reliability, and they could also be more um, faster. Now it depends in different contexts. So let's look at, for example, in arts. Now, artists utilize different tools in order to produce their art. And in this, in this case, tools are more like a medium of expression. And um, the expression itself is the art. So you can think about, musical instruments since modern ones are more refined they give a better output you know they are clearer but um, that's the extent to which uh, it increases the experience or the quality of the output but not the content so you need to consider um, that in natural sciences when we talk about the different tools that are involved now natural sciences tools are used to conduct experiments and um, better tools allow us to um, explore the natural world to a more in more depth in more accuracy and uh, the tools s since we are exploring the natural world and we are limited by our sense perception therefore it's e it's very easy to claim that better tools allow us to have a to observe the natural world in a better way you can think about microscopes and telescopes where you know m our normal sense perception does not allow that level of observation so and since we are interacting with the natural world on different scales, um, tools are very important um, because without them, we cannot even observe the different phenomena that are involved. Similarly, in human sciences like um, psychology, economics, sociology, we know that tools, they do not need to be uh, physical tools, but these tools could be in the form of, you know, collecting data or conducting surveys. And with technology, we have very good tools which allow us to look at the society at large, collect like big data, um, we can think about economics or we can think about um, psychology where it's very important to increase the scale of the experiment, to increase the data that is being collected to get a better uh, view of the phenomenon, to make it more general instead of micro. And with computers, with al advanced algorithms, we can collect a lot of data and do analysis. So you can think about tools in that way as well. And then obviously improvement in knowledge would be quite different in different areas of knowledge. If you're talking about arts, like the value of knowledge lies in the the unique understanding of the artist or their expression uh, which is very insightful and profound so uh, a good piece of art gives us a uh, it, it gives it allows us to understand some aspect of human nature or society um, in a very profound way so it is enlightening and that in that case if you remember in this case we can say that the artist is actually uh, more important because um, tools is just like a you can say the palette f that the artist utilizes to create that expression and we know that great art um, did not was not produced by using some fancy tools, but it was actually the artist that was able to give us some unique insight. Uh, however, in natural sciences, the quality or the improvement of knowledge means that it, the knowledge produced needs to be more accurate, more reliable, objective, and uh, also more detailed and sophisticated as well. In this case, in natural sciences, we can say that um, tools definitely pl play a much bigger role compared to arts. And but at the same time, we can think about individual scientists like Einstein, Darwin, um, people who were not necessarily uh, equipped with the most modern tools, but actually their uh, intuition or their observation that was able to give a breakthrough. So we have to, s the whole thing in this topic is the tension between uh, the ingenuity and the brilliance of the, the knowledge creator and how much is that person dependent on the tools or does do tools overpower him uh, or not? And then uh, for human sciences as well. Okay. so. Let's see, what's the main argument and what, what you should explore here? We know that creation of new knowledge means that 
people want to improve on the past knowledge they want to make it more refined they want to make it more accurate and let's say in the case of arts uh, artists would want the new knowledge to be more enlightening and more profound um, but the process of creating new knowledge this is something you must consider in this particular uh, title that actually when we say how how do tools impact the creation of knowledge each area of knowledge has its own methodology and a framework for example uh, in the case of natural sciences you are using uh, the scientific method which means that scientists have to go through experimentation where they would need the tools so you can argue that uh, in the case of natural sciences tools do play a huge role because uh, the scientific method requires experimentation and data collection which is dependent on the different tools uh, to conduct those experiments so we have to understand that the process of creating new knowledge is important for example in let's say arts the process starts with some inspiration that the artist gets something deep some profound observation that first they get inspired which then they use to um, they are trying to express that idea so in that process the more important thing is the inspiration of the artist uh, and the tool comes later and uh, the tool is not as significant because the expression if if the inspiration and the idea is profound um, the artist is able to um, utilize whatever tools to express that to create high quality knowledge so um, the quality of knowledge we can now we know that there are different criteria to measure that knowledge and um, in some cases tools will be uh, they would play a huge role in that process of creation of knowledge in some cases it's more about the human so you can see here that we have to look at we have to compare the interaction or the between the human and the tool so we have to look at both aspects of it now as we mentioned uh, natural sciences if you're exploring this title you can discuss or go in depth about um, if you if you want to write a claim saying that yes tools do lead to production of new knowledge and high quality knowledge uh, then you can use the claim something along the lines of how this, the experimentation is dependent on tools and throughout history we can see that whenever uh, we had better tools we were able to collect uh, have more nuanced observations which led to discoveries for example um, let's say in physics like recently um, uh, they discovered the presence of gravitational waves and in order to do that the tools that were required were the particle colliders uh, in CERN and those tools were actually very sophisticated and advanced and it took them decades to build that uh, particle accelerator and collider which led to the discovery of um, the, present the presence of the gravitational waves so we can say that without the presence of that tool um, it would not have been possible to confirm um, gravitational waves therefore in that case we can say that yes tools do uh, Prior, or do stand out at the top in terms of the importance and they always have a direct impact on the quality of knowledge that is produced and um, you can include the ways of knowing in natural science since we are engaging with the natural world uh, it's all about observing the different phenomena in nature and our five senses are obviously um, as good as they are they are quite limited we cannot see things that are in micro scales or macro scales so tools without those tools it, it's impossible to understand this the world of the small and the big so in that case you can make a claim that yes tools single-handedly contribute to the quality of that knowledge and it leads to better knowledge um, and as those tools keep getting better the knowledge becomes more refined and it becomes more accurate so yes however if you want to counter that claim in natural sciences you can think about different paradigm shifts and different discoveries that were made um, for example um, if you think about let's say darwin's theory of evolution you you know that darwin was traveling on the ship and he was making observations about different species um, and actually it was not really the the utilization of the tool but it was his unique observation and his uh, rationality and intuition that allowed him to come up with that um, process of natural selection and evolution so in that case we do know that um, some great scientists in the past they were able to create uh, very high quality knowledge based on their own skills and their own thinking uh, another thing you, you need to consider in this topic is that does knowledge always like we know that tools they are improving on the time scale so from past to present and future like there is a continuous increase in the improvement of the tools but another thing we need to ask is does knowledge also follow this chronological uh, pattern so was knowledge about let's say in natural science physics chemistry was the quality of that knowledge that was created in the past is, is it always inferior to theories that are coming out today uh, which I think is not the case like some of the great uh, concepts and discoveries and theories in natural science were actually they they were they came out like decades ago so this is something you need to consider that the the time scale from past to present yes tools most likely it's uh, inarguable that since engineering improves and you know society can produce better equipment and better tools um, 
but the knowledge it's not very clear that the knowledge of today like in the field of physics how do we say that it's actually more improved or better than or than the knowledge that was created before maybe that knowledge about let's say a theory of evolution is still one of the main theories um, or you know Einstein's theory of relativity is still uh, considered as the most profound breakthrough or, or more most complicated theory and uh, so yes we can argue in both directions uh, similarly now in arts you need to understand that actually arts gives us a different perspective on this whole discussion because arts is subjective arts is about the artist it's about their understanding of the world and their profound insight into society into human nature and if they are able to express um, this detail we appreciate the art because it resonates with us now so it's much easier to argue in the case of art that the tools although they become more refined like let's say in uh, visual arts or in let's say music the tools obviously they are improving but again we need to ask the question is the music today is more um, can we say is improved than the m the great classical music of let's say the 20th century uh, we don't have mozart nowadays like so we, you need to you need to look at both sides and you, you can argue that uh, it's in the case of art it's more about the artist and tools are just a means of expression uh, because the value of knowledge in art it actually lies in that expression right people care about that the content of, of that person instead of um, its delivery um, However, so again, we need to see both sides here as well. In the case of uh, arts, yes, it's quite obvious that nowadays, let's say when we, when we, like, let's say if we think about film. So nowadays, the the film industry, the quality of production and direction we can see nowadays with like cameras and CGI, it does lead to very sophisticated and engaging form of art. So if you think about the improvement of knowledge in art as something which is engaging we can say that the knowledge or the, the art produced now is more uh, vivid, is more uh, attractive to us because of all these modern technologies. So again, uh, the main idea here is to constantly look at both sides of the equation. And so yeah, um, just wanted to spend some time looking at this topic. And if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments or you can contact me uh, on, um, you can try to book a free trial lesson with me on ElitePrepHK.com and I would be happy to help you throughout the essay process and hopefully secure an A grade. So really nice uh, interacting and hopefully this is useful to you guys.